Hey guys, I'm not sure if you guys saw the video that we posted last night, but we've been seeing eyes and even smelling a skunk in our pasture for a few nights now. So we actually set a trap and walked you guys through how to do that and what we used. So now this morning, we're just gonna go out and check, see if we caught anything and go from there. So we did catch something, unfortunately. We just caught a little cat. It's not little, but we're gonna be nice and let it back to its owners. Its owners are actually behind us. They have a lot of animals back there and I feel bad that we caught that and it's obviously really scared. So what we're gonna do is just go and open the trap and just let it go behind us so that way it can return home and back to wherever it needs to go. And I'll record for that, guys. So I tried to pick up this little guy out of the cage and he or she is not really happy. So what I'm going to do is just try to open the door from here and hopefully it'll just return home. Hopefully it won't attack me. I'm trying to be nice and just let it go. Poor little guy's shaking. I don't know if you can hear it. Poor little guy. I'm hoping that it does not try to attack me whenever I open this door. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. It's not very friendly. I don't want it to be hurt or stuck in here. So I was honestly afraid of that cat. I was unable to get it out. I was afraid that it was going to attack me or just scratch me and bite me. And obviously it smelled really bad and it was really mean. So I don't know if it has any sickness or anything like that. So I've already messaged Steven. He's inside in the office working, finishing up a couple things before he can come out and help. Um, I obviously feel really bad that it's in the cage, but for my safety, I'm gonna have the man come and help me to do this. So, Right now, the goats think that they're getting fed, so they keep hollering at us. So we're just making sure everybody's okay and that they're good. And looks like everybody's doing really good. Right, Jules? And Tushy. And we got Billy over here and Miss Rip. Always got a scratch along the fence. You get a good scratch. Yeah. Was well, that so? So now we're just gonna go and just take care of these guys, make sure we collect all their eggs. I'm curious to see how many they left for us. Hopefully they're not too dirty after we saw that they were roosting on their nesting boxes. And just what I figured, big fail. But we do have one little egg and four over here. So I'm gonna go grab our egg basket and collect all these and show you guys.
as you guys can see, we still have all of the other chick chickens and roosters in here in this area. We plan to move them, but like the roosters, we are going to keep because we're actually going to end up butchering them. Um, we are going to actually just collect their eggs, which if you can see, they have really pretty clean nesting boxes, a ton of eggs for us to catch and collect. So we're going to set you guys up and we'll collect those. I just wanted to show you guys. We're going to set you guys up real quick. These goats love cheese it and animal crackers and they will fight over these like crazy. Yes, I know. <laughs> Billy's like the only one that won't climb up on the fence for some reason. But they just love their little Cheez-Its. Don't you miss Tushy? Hey! And then they'll just suck on your finger. They're so harmless and super sweet. Aren't you? Aren't you? She's my favorite. She just loves it. Don't you? So I hate to say it, I unfortunately forgot to record us letting that poor little cat go. Steven came to my rescue, he helped me. Um, thankfully it didn't scratch or try to attack either of us. It ran straight back home where it belongs and I hope that it doesn't end up in the trap again because we plan to reset the trap because we know there are skunks that are living in our pasture somewhere or maybe they're just traveling through. I don't know, but they gotta go. They smell too terrible and I'm afraid that they're gonna either injure one of my goats, spray one of them and we're gonna have to smell it or they are a predator to our chickens. So hopefully next time, fingers crossed, it doesn't okay, get so caught in now that we got the poor little cat that got stuck in the trap last night taken care of and back to its home, we are now going to grab the the nesting boxes out of our new mobile chicken coop and we're going to clean them up real good and we're going to find a solution so that way they don't keep roosting on their nesting boxes at night. So all I'm going to do is just grab them out and take them back to the shop and we'll clean them out and add more fresh hay and bring them back. Hi, can I get your box? Is that okay or are you going to get up in here in it? You're going to try and get out, huh? Oh, yep, there you go. Hi, Mama. Hi. Oh, Mr. Rooster. Thanks for joining us. You want some clean boxes? You want some boxes to lay in that are clean? Yeah? You want me to take care of them? I'm going to take care of them for you. You ready? Say bye. Oh, I hear you. So without them getting out, we're just going to grab one and close it back and do that four times. So we now have fresh, clean nesting boxes for our girls to lay in. Hopefully they, they probably will, but hopefully they don't roost again and make it super dirty. Um, you're probably wondering why I just threw the dirty hay into the the uh, the older chicken coop. Well, that's just because the the chickens really like to scratch at it, and it only had just a small amount of dirt in it. So we just wanted to make sure that they have enough to scratch as well as eat and things like that. And it gives them something to do, so they're not bored. They don't end up attacking each other. Let's get that closed. So that's one thing off of our list. We'll see what else we have next to do. 
I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun making it. I promise there was no cats harmed in the making of this video. The cat returned safely to home. It ran right off into into their the owner's yard and I promise there was no harm done to it. Although I was a little afraid to touch it and get around it. So I'm really glad that Steven got to come and help me and take care of that. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you like and subscribe down below and we'll catch you next time.